All right, we're entering in the side door. I want to point out that the step is pretty high up. Side door is off the carport. We've got a pass through, a laundry closet. This flooring is vinyl, roll, roll vinyl. Um, the countertops are for mica. The cabinets were missing some of the handles, the pulls, but I think I saw in the picture they've at least replaced some of the cabinet faces. The backsplash looks like laminate. Yeah, it's um, for mica or laminate, whatever, as well. It's kind of a mustardy color paint, olive kind of. Here's the living room. We've got the wood laminate that runs from the living room. Same wood laminate in this uh, dining and living room, I'm sorry. Here's the front entry. So looking back at the dining room, living room, formal living room. Then we come around this corner and we've got the same laminate, wood laminate in here. And then we transition into carpet. So we had a formal living and dining room in there, but now we've got some extra, I guess this would be the den. And I guess you'd kind of call this a keeping room. That's the name for it. And then the den, this definitely looks like an addition because we've switched up from wood and aluminum windows to newer windows. So this has been built out and I can feel the spot in here. This is where I think we have some problems. I can feel the subfloor has some give to it and it steps down. Here's a half bath off this den. You hear that dog next door, he decided to bark. It looks like these windows were the double pane with the gas in them and we've got a sliding door that goes up there. Before we go downstairs, we'll go look at the bedrooms but it looks like that gas inside of the windows has failed. So some of your insulation value is gone. I'm checking the roof. We got some signs of moisture at that vent. I don't see any of, but I do see some settlement issues maybe right there, right there. So that can happen when you build out your addition over your crawl space, basement, whatever. All right, and then here's bedroom one to the left coming down the hallway. The bathroom, the guest bathroom is across from it. Shower tub combo with newer tile, newer toilet. And that looks like ceramic tile on the floor. And again, for mica cabinets and a newer sink. We'd have to look back at the old listing pictures. This apparently is the primary bedroom. So it's going to have an attached bath. You can see the aluminum windows. The size of the closet in here is not real big. We do have a full bath attached to it, though. And same thing, tile surround. This does look like a newer tub and we've got a different tile in here than what was in the other bathroom. And a single vanity. Was that other bathroom a single vanity? We'll go back through and look. All right, let's look at the last bedroom on this floor. Bedroom three is on the front. Left coming down the hallway and Here's this bedroom. And that concludes the upstairs living space with three bedrooms, two and a half baths. Now we're just gonna go check out the basement and the backyard. Maybe there's some more signs of structural right there. No, they got some kind of old fashioned cord or something, but yeah. See, we got either moisture structure that needs some caulk. Moisture or structure? I don't know. I'm not the expert, but I can tell about signs of problems. All right, let's go downstairs.